estar porque realmente es esa conveniencia de, de la teacher buenas noches teacher good night teacher. Good evening, teacher. <risa> la teacher la teacher la teacher, la teacher eh, puede decir o sea ok, está bien sí ¿no? está ¿no? ajá Pero, fíjate que te ha fijado a veces ella dice fulanita su tonito y nadie le contesta. Eso es, uh -huh. es el señal de que encendieron la, la compu y, bueno, ahí, ahí, ahí me avisa si dice mi nombre. Y va a ir a comer o va a ver la serie y todo eso. Uh -huh. o sea, no, no, ¡Qué no, poco no, compromiso! Bueno. Es que estamos hey. hablando, teacher, que, que yes. aquí entre nosotros estamos hablando que algunos de nuestros compañeros nos que hemos por, eso, por esa situación que no encendían en la cámara yes. eh, de que tal vez no participaban de que faltaban clases eh, un montón de, de, de cuestiones que desde un principio se, le, se nos dicen incluso cuando nos hacen la llamada para una entre, para pre -entrevista. Una pre entrevista nos dicen todo eso pues o sea, y es bien importante que lo hagamos yo les digo, o sea, realmente usted les dice, está bien, no le enciendan, o está bien, va, tienen ese problema, pero el problema es que en inglés corporativo no tome en cuenta el que usted les haya dicho, está bien o está mal, que no le enciendan o que le enciendan, That's sino right. que ellos lo, lo que ven es, ah, le encendió o no le encendió. That's it. Hasta ahí. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's true. They, they, don't, they don't know about the context. They are just going to... Um, identify if the students have the camera on, if they participate. Because remember, as you may know, this is a scholarship. Es una, um, en Spanish, una scholarship, beca, una beca de estudio. So mm -hmm. the only, the, the rules that we need to follow, I guess they are very easy to follow, right? To have your cameras on, mm -hmm. to participate, Because this is a way of learning, you know? This is how we interact with each other. So please, yes. yes, don't forget, not only for this uh, class, but also for the rest of the classes that you're going to have. Oh yes, it is important too, to follow the rules, right. So today is the 26th, May 26th. And we are about to finish this month. The last day, well, teacher. Right? No. Last class. Oh, yes. And it is the last class uh, as well. No, class today. For, it's the no last like class. like finishing the class. For all. Yeah, for right? All. Yeah, sometimes we don't want to finish. In my case, I don't want to finish, you know, with these classes. But yeah. yeah, you need to move on. You need to continue this process of learning. So? <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to check the attendance list so I cannot forget about this anymore because yesterday <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah. I defeated the class. <laughs> I was in a rush checking the attendance list. No, 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 it's not, it's not professional. <laughs> so this is going to be my first activity today, not the last one. Right, so here we go. Yeah, for Fernando se me olvida. Imagine. Here we go. Yeah, right. So let me see. Where is my group? I guess that nine to ten. Nine to ten, the special. Nine to ten. The special. special people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my favorite teacher is you. Duncan, Duncan, Duncan. No, es cierto, me, o sea, me me fecha sí luz, eh. Ay, no, Dios. No, 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 So don't forget to practice the simple present because that is one of the first topics in the other one, the next course. So please say here or present if you listen that I'm mentioning your name. Aleli Concepcion. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Stephanie. Present. Cesar, Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Here. Fernando Arturo. Present. Ok, 
person Vladimir. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Jessica Marielos. Jose Neftali. I'm here. Very happy. Kimberly El Janet. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Very good. Maria Lucila. Present. Marina de Carmen. Present, teacher. Eh, voy a tener mi cámara apagada unos minutos, pero cuando llegue a casa la enciendo. Ok. Gracias. Nelson Rolando. Nelson Rolando. I'm here. Nurian Karina. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Rebeca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. And Zaira Jamilev. Present. Excellent. So, do you remember, wait, do you remember about the activity from yesterday? We couldn't finish with the activity because of the time, but we were practicing um, asking our classmates information about school days, school days. So, we were going back in the times and we were practicing you know, and how to give response to this type of questions. So I'm going to show you the same information so we can remember about the activity from yesterday and we can end up with this activity today. After that, we are going to go over to the information or to the exercises from the final exam. So probably you may have some questions about the final exam, right? And we can go over those type of questions together. So look, how many questions do I have in this exercise? How many questions do you see? Eight questions. Okay, eight different questions. So you are the one who are going to decide if you want to talk about elementary, middle, or high school days. Look, elementary, middle, or high school days. For example, if I ask you, Walter, which one do you decide to speak about? Elementary, middle, or high school days? Sorry, can you repeat? Okay, don't worry. If you see, we have three options, elementary school, middle school, or high school. So which one do you prefer us to be talking about today? De cual hablamos ahora? You, you are going to choose elementary, middle, or high school. The top school, right? Or school. Mm -hmm. No, we don't got you. Yes. Okay, let me make it again. Let me formulate myself. Look, this exercise is about information about your classmates. But we are going to go back in time and we are going to remember about elementary or middle school or high school days. 
we have three options, right? Three options. So, which one do you prefer us to talk about? ¿Cuál prefieren de que hablemos ahora? ¿De middle school, high school, or elementary school? High school. High school. High school. Okay. High high school. school. Que demos entonces con high school. Wait, guess, let me do something. Aquí estamos, high school. Hablemos de high school entonces. So, let me ask you. Cesar, what classes did you take in high school? <coughs> What classes did you take in high school? My classes, uh, classes, materia or classes? Yes, it's the same. Subject as classes is the same. It's the same. It's the same, yeah. Matemática. How do you say matemática in English? Hmm? How do you how, say? Uh -huh. How do you say mathematics? Math. Mm -hmm. Not remember. <laughs> Not remember math. Math. Mm -hmm. uh, math. Math. Any other example? Lenguaje, What classes César. did you take? How do you say language? Language. Uh, yes, it can be language. Language. Literature. Yes, or literature. Literature. Social. Science. Social. Social. Science. Social studies. Science. English. English class. English. P. P. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. English class. So you see, these are some examples about the classes or the subjects that you took or did you take in high school. So is it clear what information you are going to get from each question? Yes? Yes. Bien, so let me give you two minutes so you can go back with your classmates again, and then you need to be ready to give me this information. Personal information, right? I'm going to ask anyone in the class and you need to be ready to answer these ones. Okay? Tienen que estar listos para responderme, right? Everybody needs to be ready to reply. I'm not going to show you the sentences. You are just going to listen and reply, right? Remember that we have this information in your WhatsApp. So go back, take a look at the picture that I sent yesterday, and you can practice with your classmates. Here we go. Let's discuss these questions, please. Okay. Here we go, very good. There we go, very good. I'm just missing Gladys, Fernando. Rebecca, Wilson and Marina. Go to room number one, okay, Fernando? There we go. There we go, excellent.
And then, who was your favorite teacher? Mm, I don't remember her name. Oh, oh her died now. But my favorite teacher in my high school was Mrs. Roxana. Which was, was your favorite class? My favorite class. Uh -huh. Okay. My favorite class in my high school, I think, was social study. Yeah, I really love that 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 classes. So, can I ask you? Was not was was a typical day of school life? School life. School what life. was a typical day of school like? Okay. Um, my typical day of school like I don't remember so well but I think um first um I took um science um before I think was uh, accounting later Later, uh, social, uh, yeah, I think that I don't. Sería, yo digo que sería, I didn't like la la I was. I was. Uh, no? Sí, en, no? o sea, teacher, en la pregunta donde dice, okay. what class didn't you like? Ah, ok. Para responderla, ese día, uh, I didn't. I didn't like. Uh -huh. I didn't like, ¿verdad? I didn't like math. Was, was, I didn't like. No, I didn't like. like I that. didn't like. I didn't like math. And then you are going to ask why. Because it was very difficult for me. So you just give a reason, yes. Como ya se sabe que hablamos de la clase, ¿verdad? I didn't like. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't like, and then you mention the name of the subject. I didn't like math. I didn't like English. English. I didn't like physical education or some other example. Very good. Entonces sería un ejemplo. I didn't like math. Así. Sí. Así sería un ejemplo. Okay. Oh, se nos fue. <laughs> Uy, perdón. Creo que me fui mucho tiempo yo con esta <laughs> no Siento muy lento, muy lento. Pero creo que <laughs> entendimos un poquito todo. Ma. No, yo creo que todavía no, sí. No, ah, no, es que la teacher, hola, oh, teacher. I'm here, no. Hey, here. teacher. Oh, I I'm cannot sorry. see you guys. I cannot see Sonia and Zayda and Jose. Come on. Where are your cameras? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Can we continue? Yes, of course. Yeah. I'm going to be here listening okay. to you. Why didn't, why didn't you like about school? Eh, fue lo que no me gustó de la escuela. <clears throat> Perdón. 
I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like um, only uh, all the, all old restroom. <laughs> it's no good, no clean. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver, ¿quién sigue ahora? ¿Con qué compañera seguimos? I finish. Zaira. ¿Quién va a continuar? <laughs> Oh, Zaira. Zaira. Sonia. Sonia. Haga papel, piedra, papel o tijera. Ok, we listen. Ok. Eh, first eh, question is... Eh, espérame, déjenme buscar. ¿no? Can I do this? Ay, déjenme un poco ver, pero... What class did you take? I, my favorite class is math, math mathematics. ¿Está bien no, así, teacher? No, ¿cuáles clases tuviste? Eh, ten, eh, tuviste? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Math. Okay. Yes. Math. Math. Okay. Ah, yes. Está, está. Uh, your she, your she, name. Your his name, name ¿verdad? His, no, eh, here, no, para es para que decir, su, su nombre, como para, para decir que es de no, pero... H E R. Is y decís Claudia. Y Beatriz dice, ¿qué, ¿cuál dijo usted? My, my, my. My was best friend. And your name is Laura. Okay. Excellent. Who was your best Very good. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Your classmates are coming right now. Teacher, yo regresé el que pasó me sacó del del avión y no sé. Yes, that's what I noticed, Kimberly. I don't know what happened. But don't worry, we are going to listen to you. Yes, it was only you. No, 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 I don't know what happened. Maybe the internet connection, right? So I don't know. So class, I guess you're ready. I'm going to ask you randomly. So you need to be ready to give me that information. Try to give me complete sentences and try to give me as many details as possible. Right. Here we go to practice, but let's wait for your classmates. Where are they? Oh, there they are coming. Let me see. Okay, cameras on. I see so many cameras off today. So you need to be ready. I'm going to ask you randomly, please give me complete sentences and give me as many details as possible. Right, so we can practice our English and the structures and the vocabulary. Okay, let me see, Karina. What was your favorite class in high school? What was your favorite class in high school? Um, my was favorite class is English uh, because I, uh, um, because I was like pronounce words, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Que yo conocía, que yo sabía. Ajá, class, how do we say that? Que yo conocía, verbo conocer en pasado. How do we say that in English? You. That I knew. No. No, no is the present. No. This is an irregular verb. Very good job. Excellent. Okay. Let me see, Elvis. 
what classes didn't you like in high school? Uh, math. Uh, Why? I never, I never, I didn't like the numbers. You didn't like I, I can with the numbers. Okay, interesting. Same here, I don't like math, but I need to use math, you know, almost every day. So I need to keep on practicing. Very good job. Jessica Presa, Jessica Marilu. Who was your best friend in high school? My best friend, my, my best, best friend in uh, high school uh, is Jensis. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is she and, your best friend or she was your best friend? She was. She was. Oh, she was, she was your best friend. Okay, interesting. Roxana, who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was Miss Vilma. Okay, Miss Vilma. Why? Telma. Telma. Why? Uh, why? Uh, because. Because was. Because she was a passion, 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 and explicaba, explicaba el pasado, explicaba. She explained. She explained good. Okay, so every class. She tried to explain in a very clear way. Very good job, interesting. How about you, Nelson? Uh, what didn't you like about your school? Uh, I didn't like um, was the horario. How do you say horario in English? Do you know how to how do we say horario in English class? Any idea? How do we say horario? Yes? Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule. 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 Schedule is menu. Ah, menu. you know how to spell it, but you don't know how to pronounce it. Don't worry. Let me help you out. Schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. So you didn't uh, like the schedule. Why? I, yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't like schedule. Okay. From what time? To what time you had to stay in the school? To uh, 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 from seven uh -huh. o'clock in the morning to to two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, really? So you didn't like some 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 time. Some time. Sometime. Mm -hmm. So yes, in my case, I had to stay in high school from 7 to 6 p.m. Imagine, three days a week from 7 to 6 p.m. So I had to spend the whole day in my high school. Yes, I didn't like the schedule as well. Very good job. Fernando, Thank you. Fernando. Let me ask Fernando. Let me see. Tell me. What, no, where did you spend your free time? Where did you spend your free time? I, I did spend free time in 
park. In the park. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We, are, we are talking about school days, high school, your school. So high when score. we say uh -huh, when we say free time, it means, for example, uh, when you were during the lunch or after class or before classes, that is called the free time because we're talking about the school. So where did you spend your time, your free time? Uh, I did spend free time in cafeteria. Okay, interesting. The cafeteria, wow. Excellent decision to spend the time in the cafeteria. Excellent, right. So okay. class, let me ask you, how do you feel with this type of questions? And whenever you need to give information about the past, how do you feel? Do you feel confident? Or do you still need more practice with the simple past? Let me listen to you. Confident, I'm sure about what I'm doing. I need more practice with the simple past. I need more practice. I need, I need more, more practice. practice right? yes. Exactly. Yes. exactly. Yes, you know, what is the problem? Need you, you need more practice. Because you can understand <sighs> the questions, right? You can I don't, easily. I don't remember. You can easily understand my questions, but you don't know how to express yourself in the simple past. So a recommendation is for you to start thinking about activities in the past and try to talk to yourself. Use as many verbs in past as possible. So you can keep on practicing. Right. Yes, teacher. So let me go to the platform so we can take a look at the final exam. But let me ask you, did you finish with all of the sections from section number five? Yeah, yes, I all it's over. Are you sure? Yes, you know, I can check that information yes. right now. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go, teacher, check. <laughs> Sin miedo, puede chequear, teacher. Vamos a ver if it is true. Midterm exam. Go wow, teacher, that's teacher. true. Eso sí es cierto. That's right. Yes, it is. Wow, I have a great class. Interesting, an amazing class. A terrific class. But how about section number five? Chicos, ¿por qué no a todos les aparece la section number five? Bueno, ahí no sé qué pasó. Don't no forget. Tengo varios que no. Ustedes saben si la han completado o no. Yo no, sí la terminé, no la pongo. Sí, yo igual, teacher. Ah, yo no mencioné nada, pero no, I didn't mention names. <laughs> I didn't mention names. I was not examen. No, the teacher, exam. El examen ya no pasa nada más. No, that's the final activity. O sea, no se pasa una página que diga finally over. No, no. that's it. No, no, no. Queda hasta submit nada más. Sí. Game over. 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 <laughs> No, o sea, dice el coin, dice el coin. Decir quiénes son los que no aparecen para que, o sea, si no aparecemos, al menos... Tal vez pero... ayudarle. No. Es el que a nosotros, nosotros somos los primeros que nos van a mencionar, no digan nada. No, no, no. You know what happened? I'm not sure about this information because it's not me. I'm not the only one or I'm not the one who checks the exercises. No soy yo quien revisa los ejercicios en plataforma, right? Es We have only today. Es alguien más de la cara. Pero ya lo ajustó. Pero, no, pero wait, wait, wait. Está no. wait. Pero esa actualización se hace todos los días a las 8 de la mañana. Por eso no estoy seguro. I'm not sure about the information. Si ya está actualizada o no. Por eso no quiero decir. Pero bueno, si quieren que mencione nombre, claro. No, no es, por, no es por mala onda, sino se si le puede ayudar a alguien, pues, o sea. That's right. No, 
vamos a curarlos. Vale. Let's do the final exam and then we check that information. So I really need to ask you about the final exam. We have six different parts and we have so many exercises. So one of the exercises is about listening. Yeah, we barely do listening exercises in this class, but this is the main skill that we need to practice. Remember that when we are learning a new language, listening is the main skill. Aprendemos escuchando, esa es la base, listening. So look at this one, the first exercise, listening practice. What were you going to do? You were going to listen to a conversation between Helen and Mark, and according to the information that you heard, you were going to identify the correct answers, right? So let's see if we still have time. Let me click on play so we can listen just once and then we can have the correct replies. Here we go. Okay. It is taking a lot. Let me reload this one. There we go. Units 13 to 14 quiz. There we go. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. So that was number one, Helen and Mark. Where are Helen and Mark going? Where are they going? A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. A bang and gas station. Uh, they were going to visit two places. Mark, he was mentioning one place, and Helen, she was mentioning another one. So, one, two, and three, which is the correct one? A bank and department store, a bank and gas station, or a gas station and a department store. Which one is the correct one? Two, a department, a department store. department store. This one. Who mentioned the gas station? Was it Mark or no. Helen? No. Aha, uh -huh. so? No, 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 no. Uh, the first, no. the first. This one. So, you see, they were going to get a gift for a present for his dad. Okay, let's listen to the second one. There we go. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Number two, where's the Smith's department store? On the corner of First and Main. In the corner of First and Main. Okay, yes. ah, okay, very Número good. Dos. On the corner of First two. and Main. Very good. Main. It's not, it's not on Second Street because they are mentioning we are already on Second, so it's not there. It's on the corner of first and main. Very good job. Let's continue. Three. Um, 
So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. Very good. What are you going to buy for your father? Okay, how do we get there? It was a specific uh, expression, so we cannot get lost. She's um, walk up second to May, turn right. To so we left. need to walk yes. up or walk down? Up or down? It's walk up. Walk up. up. Right? Yeah. No. So we just no. walk okay. up second to Maine. Okay. okay. We well, just walk well, up second to right. Maine. Yes. The right. Then we turn right. It's down the street yeah. on the left. Okay. Okay. So, well, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three, three. Well, well second, second, second to May. Second to May, turn right. Very good job. Uh, and let's listen uh, to the last one, number uh, four. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Uh, okay, what is Mark going to get for his dad? A sweater. 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 A sweater. Do you know what is a sweater? What is a sweater? One sweater. What is it? No, no saben que es un sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Ah, sweatshirt. It's a combination. Como, como chaqueta, chaqueta. No, that is a jacket. Oh. Sweatshirt is combination también de dos palabras. Sweater and, oh. and shirt. Camisa. Son como la camisa manga larga. Manga larga. Camisa. Oh, yeah. Yes. Son las más largas pero en botones. Como sweater. Solo que es más casual. Sweatshirt. Exactly. All right. Sweatshirt. All right. That is a sweatshirt. So, do you have a sweatshirt? Or do you like sweatshirts? Yes, teacher. No like it, sweat, sweatshirts. All right. So that viene el tiempo de frío, niño. Yeah, right. So, we, don't, we cannot use sweatshirts. Now, if you remember, we were practicing about expressing or giving direction. So, take a look at the map and try to complete mm -hmm. the sentences. Let me see if I can see this picture in a bigger way. Yes, I can. Okay, I have so many places. The first avenue, Main Street, Second Avenue, Center Street, and Park Street. So, the department store. Where is the department store? Look at this picture. Department store. Where is it? Mama. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right here. Department. Next store. to the bank. There Next. we go. It's right here. Let me see. Where is it? It's next, next to the bank. On my street. Next, next to the to bank. It's, um, ah, but I need to scroll down. I need to take a look at the, the other. Store is next to the, the bank. Department store is. Next to the bank. That's it. Al's Cop Shop is the movie theater. Next Al's to it. Cop Shop. Where is it? I can't see it. Oh, there we go. A cough shop. Across from. Across from. Across on, from. Across from. On the movie theater. The movie yeah. theater. The movie theater. Maria's Bro. restaurant is Main Street and Second Avenue. Corner. On the corner of. On the corner of. Corner of. Corner of. Second, second Street and my. Let me check street. if that is correct. Yeah, that's right. Now I can see Maria's restaurant just right here. Very good oh, yeah. job. So I guess this was very easy. Now let's go with grammar. Do you recognize this one or these structures? Mm -hmm. Questions with the simple past or with the past of verb to be. Fue una clase que tuvimos, el pasado del verbo to be. So, where your parents born in U.S.? 
What do we have there? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Parents My parents were, were born in Japan. That's it. Where did you, no, where did you grow up? No. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. In Tokyo. In Tokyo. In Tokyo. There we go. I grew up I grew in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English, English teacher, teacher was, was Mr. Mr. Shuttle. Shuttle. There we go. Shuttle. When did you come to New York? I, um, I came to New York in 1998. How was your first day in the U.S.? How was it? It was, it, was. it was a little scary. 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 Very good job. It was a little scary. It was scary. So? Scary. It was a little scary. Yeah, maybe this was easy to identify because we have the same bird, you know? Where? Y en la respuesta la teníamos. Weren't. Where did you grow up? We have the expression grow up and we also have it in the sentence. I agree. So that's it's easy to identify, right? Esta parte estuvo fácil porque le daba la respuesta, right? So let's move on. Match the verbs to the noun. Here we go. Number one. What is the verb that we have in number one? Had. Picnic. Okay. Can we say had photos, had tennis, had a play, or had swimming? A picnic. A picnic. Picnic. A picnic. So we cannot. We can only say had. I had a picnic last week. Now we have the bird tennis played. 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 Any. I cannot play photos. I cannot play a picnic, but I can play tennis. tennis. Can I can I play swimming? Because this is a sport. Mm. Yes. 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 Do we say I play mm. swimming? Or what is no. the correct expression oh. for swimming? Tennis. 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 How about took? Can I say took, took a picnic, took tennis, nice. took a play? Photos, photos. That's it. This is the one that corresponds. When? 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 Swimming. 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 Very good. Swimming. So in the present is go swimming. When? So. A play. In the present is go swimming. We cannot use play, right? No se usa. Eso es go swimming. Siempre vamos a usar este verbo para swim. Aunque sea un deporte, no se usa el verbo jugar. Play, no. It's go. I go swimming. So, 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 what is the simple, well, what is the expression that corresponds to this verb? So, a play. Play. So, play. Exactly. So, so in this case, we are not playing, you know. Or what is a play? What is the this, this so play? ¿Qué es un play? A soccer. Jugar. 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 Juego. ¿Están seguros que es un juego? No, play es como iniciar. Play as a noun. Okay. No sería un game ese. Sí. Okay. <laughs> el game over de el game over de football. Game over. Is... No, no, no. No, no es game. Huh? No, no es game. No, es, no es, game. Es, es jugar. Apply. Teacher, es que play es, es, sinceramente es accionar, empezar, presionar. Pero como verbo ¿no? y como nombre. Play, jugar. Uh -huh. <laughs> jugar, pero digamos... Tú juegas, yo juego, todos jugamos. 
play. Hey, jugaba, ¿no? Mal. A play, un juego. Bueno, a menos que sea una palabra compuesta. No, 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 no. no. Déjenme mostrarles qué es. Ahorita no, no, no. lo vamos a buscar en Google. Have you ever gone to the theater? Have you ever gone to the theater? Han ido al teatro, han ido al teatro. Una obra, dice. Yes, yes. So, that is a play, you know? No es un una juego. Obra es... es una obra de teatro. Una obra de teatro. Así le play. llamamos, un play. Exacto. So, you see, mm. pensamos que lo sabíamos, but no. Entonces, jugar sería game. Como verbo. Es jugar, uh -huh. pero como nombre es una presentación de teatro. A play. Ah, Esa pues, es la diferencia. Puede okay. también ser una oh, obra oh. musical, le llamamos play. That is a play in the theater. Right. Ven. The musical play. Let me see that play. Exactly. No es un juego. Okay. Yo creo que todos imaginamos un juego de fútbol o soccer play. No. Sí, no. porque es el play much. como que es un accionar, ¿verdad? Es llamar un juego con pelotas. Por ejemplo, fútbol, básquet. Mm, but no, eso es un match. 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 Ah, perdón. Puede ser un match. soccer match, basketball so match, match, match. Ah, es un partido. Partido, muy bien. Veamos las últimas dos eh, partes. Yeah, sections, here we go. Complete the conversations with the correct form of the verb to be. Of course, we're talking about activities in the past. Number one, A, did you have, did you have or you had? Did you have? Have, have. Very good, did because we have. need to use did an have. auxiliary and as we already have an auxiliary, the verb is not going to change. Did not really, I, not really. I study. 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 I study on weekends. I now study. we have a question. Tenemos no, 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 teacher. Study, no. It's study. Study. Está en verbo. Study. Ajá. Study. 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 Because the yes. question is referring to the past. ¿Tuviste una buena, un buen fin de semana? No. I studied all weekends. Now we have a question. Question. Anything mm -hmm. last weekend? Yes, yes. Did they do? Did they do, they do did they anything do. last weekend? Did, did they, they do, do anything? Do. Last uh -huh. Did they do? Yes, they do. Did they do? We need a verb in the past. What is the past? Go. Sería went porque went. es el pasado de go. Exactly, go, it doesn't Correcto. exist. It's went. Ah, went. They went hiking in the woods. Anything mm -hmm. at the mall? Mm -hmm. That is another Did point. She... Did she, Did she get? Get. get. Porque Did she get. get. Very good. Auxiliary, uh -huh. get. subject, and get. verb in the past. In past. Did okay. she get anything at the mall? Mira, si no, está aquí. no, she went shopping, but she. <laughs> <laughs> but she. No, está allí. She didn't. Uh, didn't buy, didn't buy. <laughs> <laughs> Porque está negando. Y se ha pasado. And we already I... have an auxiliary. And last No, no, están perdidos, ¿no? No, and this, is, and this is the written section. No, you Más were not paso, so, class. No está ahí, teacher. Come on, guys. Let me listen to you. Déjenme escucharlos. If you want to express right now, this is the moment. ¿Cómo sintieron este curso? ¿Qué hemos aprendido? ¿Qué necesitamos reforzar? Tenemos un par de minutos para escucharlos. Ok, two minutes. Oh, teacher. Yes. Um, quizás hablo por el grupo, pero realmente le quiero agradecer porque sí nos explicó muy bien y cuando hemos tenido dudas, pues nos lo explicó en español, que yo sé que ya a estas alturas ya es poco lo que tiene que hablarse en español, pero le agradezco mucho porque realmente sí he aprendido mucho con usted. Ok, ok, no, thanks to you. Okay. Acordate que dice que Neftalí, que somos principiantes. No, no sé. Somos principiantes, correcto. 
Ya la sí. próxima no se vale equivocar. No, Tiche, la verdad es que hemos aprendido mucho. Eh, tenemos que todavía repasar, porque la verdad es que tenemos que repasar mucho lo que son las lecciones. No es cuestión de que solo lo que vemos acá en clase, sino que Exacto. tenemos que estar practice, practice, practice. practice. Eh, o sea, esa es la forma de cómo vamos a aprender. ¿verdad? Exacto. Pero realmente, lo que le decía al principio, eh, usted ha sido de los tres teachers que hemos tenido, quizás ha sido la que mejor nos ha explicado. Okay. ¿Verdad? Y, I'm really happy to hear that. y la, de verdad, thank you so much, porque la verdad es que hemos aprendido mucho. Y ojalá que nos toque con usted en el siguiente módulo. Yes, no, no nos va a tocar, ya vas a ver que no nos va a tocar. Sí, siempre, siempre nos mandan por sí, allá. Nos sí. mandan por otro lado. Es que digan que no la quieren para que las pongan. Ah, no, es que recordar lo que hicieron con, U, con, el, con el teacher Hugo, porque no lo querían ahí, está, que no lo, no lo llamaron al pobre. Este Josué tuvo la culpa. Rápido y furioso le decía. So you see, eh, no, saben que la idea siempre de los cursos o de las clases, más que todo, es aclarar dudas. Entonces, hay ocasiones que, recuerden, estamos aprendiendo un nuevo idioma. Y venir de golpe, full inglés, es lo ideal, obviamente. Pero hay situaciones en que hay que meter ciertas palabras en español para tratar de comparar a nuestro idioma nativo, ¿ok? Para que tengamos sí. la idea clara. Pero sí, lo ideal es eh, expresar en inglés. Por eso les decía, hay alguna definición que ustedes puedan crear de alguna palabra nueva, es lo mejor que podemos hacer. No traducir. Ahorita les dije que es un play, la reacción más básica de todos es, busco la palabra en español. No. Tratemos de tener una definición de cada palabra en inglés. Y como lo logro, si yo no sé una palabra, voy, utilicen. O oh, ya ni diccionarios creo que tenemos a la mano. Pero sí hay diccionarios digitales. Google. Sí, sí, sí. Yo, yo, yo. Ay, yo, yo, saben que yo también, yo también soy de la old school. Yo también sigo usando mis dictionary. Más que todo para memorizar definición. Así si me preguntan, sé cómo responder en inglés. All right. eh, ¿Qué más? Teacher. Yes, tell me. I'm listening to you, Nelson. Sí, teacher. Este, no, yo quiero darle las gracias porque oh, la you. verdad es que la, la clase está bien estructurada. Pues, yes. ¿Verdad? Y el ingrediente principal en todo docente es la paciencia. <risa> en, en, sí, eh, ese es un ingrediente yeah. principal que... Yes, eh, y se nota cuando eh, existen las dudas y, y está la voluntad pues, y, okay. y de, de, de solventar, de aclarar dudas y todo eso. Eso es bien importante para nosotros que nos estamos formando. Yes, right. y, eh, vencer el miedo a preguntar, porque qué va a decir el teacher o qué van a decir los demás. Esa es una gran barrera que hay que saltar. Y, y yo pienso que este, en este caso, en esta clase, pues eso se solventó. Eh, no bueno. había problemas en preguntar porque... Eh, no hubo ni un, por ejemplo, una respuesta cortante ni nada de eso, sino que el ánimo de aprender, ¿verdad? Así que gracias por eso. No, qué bueno. Esa es la idea, que perdamos el miedo en preguntar. Porque si no, pues se van a ir quedando esas dudas acumuladas y al final no se solventan. Igual, de mi parte, créanme que eh, siempre traté de dar una respuesta exacta en el momento. Si no la sabía o no estaba segura, busco información. Porque... Yo también aprendí bastante de ustedes y ha sido igual un grupo muy bonito. Como les dije, no tuve que andarles insistiendo. Hey, las tareas, el examen, no. Todos estuvieron como bien al pendiente de lo que les correspondía hacer. Y eso me dice mucho de ustedes. Se quieren seguir aprendiendo y que se esfuerzan bastante. Así que, ¿algún otro comentario? O si quieren, pues, lo que habíamos quedado eh. pendientes. Uh -huh. Sí. Solamente Muchas agradecerle, gracias. teacher, por la paciencia. Y, okay. Solamente agradecerle por la paciencia y pues gracias por agregar más conocimiento a nuestras vidas. Oh, porque, okay. o sea, la paciencia no cualquiera la tiene tan, <risa> como se puede decir, tan desarrollada. <risa> sí. Eso se llama vocación. Okay. Congratulations, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Gracias, Lady. Gracias, gracias, teacher, por, okay. por su paciencia okay. con nosotros. Gracias y Tenemos ojalá una, que pueda. Una alumna nueva la, la vi ahí en. Galaxia 01, ¿eh? Ajá. De aquí me... <ríe> okay. 
Tuve de la problemas chichera. me sacó la reunión otra vez y me acosté. Le está dando como ah, siempre, okay. chichera. Okay. No, you know, it was a pleasure. Vamos a, you know, para que podamos recordar a los compañeros, tomemos un screenshot. Lo compartimos en WhatsApp para que ahí se recuerden quién está en este grupo y quién molestaba más en la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no, no. Tester. No sé, así. Decía que era el Duca, ahora no es el Duca, ahora es el bullying. Ahora ya. Está listo. Ok, Es el enamorado del grupo. Toda la vida se enamora. No, ya no. No, nadie. No he enamorado a nadie ahora. <risa> ¡Ahora! ¡Ahora! Que se sabe lo que, los que dicen, que cualquier lago se puede pescar. Bien. No, 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 no. Vamos. Smile. Three, two, and one. Ahí está ya. Bien, chicos. Cualquier okay. cosa, ahí sigue el grupo. Ahí está. Pero me quedo y no me salió un frijolito por ahí. No, I don't know. Yo voy a <risa> But thank you so much for everything. It was Las a pleasure. En la, en la boca. Okay. Thanks thank you, teacher. teacher. It was a pleasure. Thank you, you know, so much. My pleasure. Bye bye, Thank you. Bye bye. I hope bye. to see you soon. Espero verlo pronto, ¿ok? Keep on practicing. Bye bye. Have yes. a great night. Bye bye. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Okay. The same to you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye bye.